The main point was that the government of Alberta has generated a 10-point plan, which now has actually grown to a 14-point plan of what we are going to do, what our commitment is and, and how we will carry our share of the commitment towards making Alberta job sites the most safe and most competitive job sites in, in all of Canada. But now my challenge is to the industry and to labor and to safety associations, what are you going to do? What are you te your 10-point or 14-point plans that you're willing to bring to the table? What commitments are you going to make on your job site or within your union? or within your association that will be um, uh, that will be working hand in hand with with the government of Alberta and with each other um, fabulous ideas are coming forward there's a lot of enthusiasm uh, the most the most positive thing of it all is that we we, uh, we already have the culture of cooperation and I'm finding that that there the, the era of pointing fingers at each other and saying you should do this and you should do that but leave me alone no longer exists there the nice thing about the challenge is it's, uh, it's inclusive, it's, uh, it's a collective approach, a collaborative approach, and the key thing is the last C, which would be the consistency. So we need to be consistent, and uh, we're always working with our various client owners and contractors to improve safety on our job sites. What, we, what, we, uh, what I'd like to see as the vision of that health and safety culture embraced by an organization, it's um, really embraced by someone who is a contract employer right up to that senior type of person who actually is on site and delivers the health and safety message to all its employees. So basically that message of health and safety is embraced by all the employees from uh, the top all the way down and everyone is practicing what the leader wants to get done. I think the most effective education would be to target supervisors. Uh, this is in part because of the uh, number of workers that supervisors touch. They truly are where the tires meet the road. Uh, so if we can reinforce to supervisors uh, the importance of safety uh, and uh, the fundamentals that they can reinforce with their workers every day, uh, then we have taken a huge step toward the effectiveness of safety in the province. When we go by a, a work site, a construction site, or a maintenance uh, a facility under maintenance, we see uh, everybody wearing their PPE. Uh, we see everybody who needs to be wearing fall arrest, and uh, we just see we see the commitment to safety. That shows a commitment that the employer is committed in uh, ensuring their employees are uh, wearing the right protective equipment. The employees are engaged, and obviously, the more sites that we see like that, we see that the message is hitting home and that the enforcement level is also occurring.